Now that you've had a chance to review, let's jump into our first topic for today, which is how to differentiate between different kinds of peer-reviewed journal articles. As you're doing your searches in PsycInfo, you might notice that you come across different types of articles. In level one, in the level one uh, research skills tutorial, you just learned about how to distinguish peer-reviewed journal articles. So pretty much everything that you find in PsycInfo is going to be peer-reviewed once you use the filter to select that option. But there are different kinds of studies. So one of them that you will probably come across a lot and the kind that I think you will probably want to use the most are empirical studies. And these are studies that people have done, that researchers have done, that are based on some kind of observable experimentation. So the idea is that in theory, um, if someone has done an experiment uh, on human subjects, for example, in the field of psychology, they have used a variety of techniques to do this primary research, observe how people work, to answer their actual research question, and then they've written it up in the study. And we'll look at those in a little bit more detail in a moment. So empirical studies are one kind to know about. Another kind to know about are meta-analyses. So a meta-analysis is where a paper looks at all the other papers that have been written about the topic or all the other empirical studies and it runs the data again but on mass so it sort of like combines a whole bunch of different empirical studies into one and that's called a meta-analysis another kind that you might come across is a review paper and a review paper is where again it's not a researcher doing their own individual independent original study like with the empirical study it's where someone has gone and they've read all the other papers that are about a topic and they've put together either a literature review where they've selected the ones that they think are the most relevant and they're sharing the findings with you or it's a systematic review where they've got some kind of specific question that they're trying to answer and they have criteria that they 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 uh, need to meet and they're going out and they're looking at a bunch of different empirical studies to see which ones meet that criteria and then they're writing up a review of all those different articles. So for your assignments in psychology your instructors generally want you to use empirical studies. These are the most important ones. The meta-analyses and the review papers are, can also be useful but just keep in mind that it's the empirical studies that for the most part your instructors want you to use.